This movie is absolutely incredible. <laughs> So John Wick Chapter 4 is the fourth installment in what is now technically the John Wick series. As you guys already know, the film stars Keanu Reeves, but along with a stellar supporting cast consisting of Ian McShane, Lawrence Fishburne, Bill Skarsgård, Donnie Yen, and the posthumous Lance Reddick. The film takes place after the events of John Wick Chapter 3, and here John Wick has devised a plan to obtain his freedom from the wrath of the high table. As tensions increase and the fight for freedom becomes more hopeless, John Wick must fight off new enemies and former alliances that will decide his fate and his chance of a free life. Now, if there is one thing that I can say about the John Wick series that stands out compared to other action flicks, it is the fight sequences and the choreography that goes along with it. The magic of the fight sequences that worked in John Wick's 1, 2, and 3 is here in Chapter 4, but just cranked up by 9,000. Every action sequence stood out in its own unique way, in a way. I wanted more. Every time a certain segment ended, I just wanted more because it's just that immersive. And they do it so well. Look, at this point... The producers and the director behind the John Wick series, they are a master at this craft and I have to admire and superbly appreciate how they've handled this entire franchise with so much care when it comes to executing action scenes. But along with great action scenes, you have to have good choreography and boy does this film really do it. Like I said, in John Wick's 1, 2, and 3, the choreography was always on point, but here it's just somehow better than his predecessors. If there are two things that I absolutely hate that a lot of Hollywood action films tend to do, it is using multiple cuts to create an entire segment of action and shaky cam. Shaky cam is one of the worst things that anyone can implement into their action flicks. Like imagine someone on a roller coaster and they're trying to record the reaction and you know everything's just all bumping around, you know, you can't, can't get a straight angle. That's basically what shaky camera is and it is absolutely disgusting. I hate it. I hate it with a burning passion and I cannot stress how much I do. But luckily here in John Wick 4 and throughout the entire John Wick series, none of that stuff is present. And I am superbly grateful for that. Take notes, Hollywood. This is how you do action sequences. It, it It's not that hard. At least I don't think it's that hard. But hey, still, regardless, this movie just set the standard for what an action movie should be. And with the great fight scenes and the choreography, I have to compliment the camera work. There are moments where the camera work is just so on point. There are certain angles that they pull off where it just looks so flawless, but I can only imagine that it must have been a pain in the ass to film that behind the scenes. But the final product, it was glorious, I cannot deny. To give you an example, there is one scene in particular towards the final act of the film where the camera pans over John Wick and we're looking at it from like a high angle point of view and we just see him executing everyone throughout this entire building and as the camera follows, we're just looking at him from like a third portion, yeah. And we're looking at him from a third port, and we're looking at him from a third person point of view, but the camera is right above him and it's just following him in every room he goes, just executing bad guys away. Like when, when it happens, you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just chef's kiss. I realized growing up, I never really took the time to really compliment the stunt men or stunt women when it comes to executing these action sequences. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I saw a video on Twitter not too long ago. It was a behind the scenes footage of John Wayne chapter four and there was a stuntman who threw himself down the escalator for a particular scene that they were filming. And funny enough, that scene is present in the film. But I want to show you guys the clip real quick because it is impressive. Just from that fall alone, you probably think that guy is dead. But no, he's still alive. And I can only imagine how many takes they had to do in order to get that right. After watching that clip, it really made me appreciate the work that stunt men and stunt women do in a lot of these movies. So to all the stunt men and stunt women out there, y'all the real heroes. Speaking of heroes, like, come on. What more needs to be said, right? At this point... John Wick is hands down one of Keanu Reeves' best roles. 
like I would say top three. He's just so good in the role of John Wick. And it's funny because he already has very little dialogue given. John Wick is a man of action, but when he's committing action or just giving you the death stare, Keanu just absolutely hits the nail on it. And he's just so entertaining to watch that. I, I just, I just love watching him as John Wick. He is just incredible. But I really want to compliment the supporting cast. In particular, Bill Skarsgård, Donnie Yen, and... Oh, oh, crap. What was the guy's name? Shamir Anderson. That's his name. I thought all three of these characters were the biggest highlights of this entire movie. Donnie Yen was a badass. He plays pretty much a blind assassin, but his comedic timing is on point. He's charismatic. He is the type of guy you would want on your team when things are going down. Also, Bill Skarsgård is the main antagonist. I thought he was fantastic. I loved him from start to finish. I would argue that I think he's probably the best antagonist throughout the entire series. I know I'm hyping this movie up, but guys, it is so good. I really enjoy Shamir Anderson as the tracker, or in the movie they call him Nobody. I thought he was great. His comedic timing was on point, he was charismatic, he was funny, and I just thought he was a great installment into this series. I really enjoyed the soundtrack in this movie. It wasn't really anything groundbreaking, but I thought it really complemented the film significantly well, especially during the third act. The third act of this film left me entertained from start to finish. I was not bored, not once. I was so engaged into what was going to happen next. Like, again, it's, it's just so mind blowing. Like so much stuff goes down, but it is so glorious. It's just nonstop action. And I... I love this franchise, and I strongly encourage everyone to watch John Wick Chapter 4. It's movies like this that make the theater-going experience such a unique experience. I saw this movie in a crowded theater, and everyone was loving it. We were all entertained. We were engaged. I heard people gasping because they couldn't believe what happened. It, it's just, it's movies like this that just make me appreciate cinema as a whole. And especially the movie theater going experience. It cause that crowd really made my day. It was it was a beautiful crowd. Everyone loved the film. I loved it. I I cannot stress how fantastic this movie is. Now as far as the cons I don't have any. I legitimately do not have any major complaints with this film. But if I had to nitpick for one thing and one thing only, I guess I would say the runtime. But then again, given what they do with this story, it makes sense as to why this movie is two hours and 50 minutes long. So with that being said, I think you guys already know where this is going, but I am placing John Wick chapter four into the pinnacle zone. Not only is this the best film in the John Wick series, but this is also just one of the best films in general. And I highly encourage everyone to check this movie out, please. But yeah, guys, that'll pretty much do my review for John Wick Chapter 4. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought of John Wick Chapter 4. Did you love it? Did you love it? Because there is absolutely no way you could have hated this movie. Are you excited for the new ballerina spinoff series? Let me know down in the comment section below and I will see you all in the next one. Almost equal in size I walked around with the iron For any wrinkle in time I paid a piece of my mind For every nickel and dime But never less than a five And never slept on a job A killer trapped on your squad Yet never left the garage When your God was close enough To see the flesh of his eyes Get to the button and press It's what the message advised What's the threat behind the message Where the testament lies